Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. What are your strengths and weaknesses? As I said, I am diligent and industrious. On the other hand, I am too hardworking and I put myself under much pressure to make things perfect. What is your problem in working? I am too introverted to let others become my friends. Have you heard that we will have reorganization? No, really? Yes. Flexible, aggressive and creative people are urgently needed in the marketing department. Who will be there? James is going to be packed off there. That is good. He can leave you alone this time. The language used in this multinational company is mainly about English. Do you think you can manage to handle that? Yes, I am sure I can. I was an English major in college. What about your second foreign language since you were an English major? Russian is my second foreign language and I excelled the rest of my class in Russian because my father is a Russian. We've been discussing the project for two hours. Let's take a break. Sounds good. I want to go get some coffee. Well, thank you, Mr. Perry, for all your information. Just one more question. Yes, sir? Do you play any sports or games? I used to play football regularly when I was at university. And I used to do athletics in the summer. And what athletics did you play? Can you remember? I was a runner a long distance runner. And now? No, I'm afraid I haven't had time since I got married. Well, thank you again for coming to see us. But just remember that we like people who join the company to play in the company's sports teams. Certainly, sir. I was really glad to hear about your promotion. Congratulations. Thanks, Jane. I was really surprised. I mean there were a lot of qualified people out there. Sure, but the work you did was really exceptional. You definitely deserved it. Thanks a lot. You are always responsible and careful. Jane. I appreciate it very much. I expect to see you get nominated pretty soon, too. You've been doing some great work. Thank you. I'll try my best. By the way, when do you take over the new position? Next month. So what are you responsible for? I'm going to manage the whole accounts department. So you must get higher pay than before. Yes, the company will also give me a prize of 1,000 yuan. 1,000 yuan? That's great. So? Okay, I know what you mean. It's my treat. Really? Can I order anything I want? Of course. Let's go. Hi, United Airlines? This is Elizabeth Parks calling. I have a reservation on the 2.30 p.m. flight to Shanghai this afternoon. Yes, Miss Parks? How may I help you? Well, I'd like to reschedule my flight for the tomorrow morning one at 9.05. Is that possible? I'm very sorry, Miss Parks, but the 9.05 flight is completely booked. I can put you on a waiting list if you would like. Mark, 
I was wondering if you finished that presentation you were working on last week? Just about. It should be done in the next couple of days. Why? Mr. Rodriguez was asking me about it yesterday. I'll give him a call. So, Emily, how was your day? I don't think you really want to hear about it. It can't have been that bad. Go on and tell me about it. To be honest, it was horrible. My manager is such a pain in the neck. Why? What happened? Well, he made quite a few mistakes on the monthly report and when his supervisor found them, my manager blamed them on me. That's not very fair. What did you do? There wasn't really anything that I could do. There's always been a lot of bad blood between my manager and myself. If I had said anything, he would have fired me for sure. Does he treat everyone in your department like this? He treats everyone pretty badly, but the way he treats me really takes the cake. Do you have any idea why he treats you worse than the others? I really have no idea. All I know is that the thought of him really curls my hair. Is there anyone else you can talk to about it at your company? Not really. I'm hoping to live with it for a while until I get a promotion. That's very sensible. It sounds like you have a good head on your shoulders. I try to be sensible about it, but it's not very easy. Sometimes you just have to grin and bear it. That's so true. When you have a taste for success, you can't let dishonest people like your manager get in the way. I'm terrible sorry. I seem to have mislaid your MP4. Don't worry about that. Very sorry that I have caused you so much trouble. No trouble at all. Won't you let me buy a new one tomorrow? No, that's quite out of the question. Please accept my deep apology. I never did like this MP4 anyway. I won't hear of it. Hi Ron. This is Kim at headquarters. Oh, hi Kim. How's it going? Great, thanks. I was calling to change our meeting next week. Okay, sure. When did you have in mind? Well, I was hoping we could reschedule for early next month. Our trip has been postponed until the second. Why don't we say the third around 2 p.m.? That works for me. I will call you when I get into town to reconfirm. Great. Talk to you then. Good afternoon. I suppose you are Ms. Monica. My name is Mr. Thomas, the general manager of ABC Company. Here is my business card. Thank you very much. I am very impressed by your resume. Therefore, I am very interested to know why you're willing to leave your current company. I am looking for a more challenging position. I can't grow anymore in my current job. Okay, I understand. But why you choose us to work for? I have studied carefully the information about your company on the internet and I have checked your company's homepage. I am impressed by the company. And I like the products a lot. Since you're growing steadily, I would be very eager to help you to improve your accounting system. How do you work with a team? I work quite well with a team. I'm a good team player. I respect people, cooperate well with members' team, and I will do my best to help team members. What's your long-term goal? I'd like to bring to ABC Company not only my technical skills, ambition, enthusiasm, but also my loyalty. 
A sincere desire to become an administrative assistant is the heart of my career plans. Please tell me how to file things according to the concerned rules. Well, all right. There are four points you should keep in mind when you file documents, information and other things. What are they? They are. Keep the documents in chronological order. Remove all the chips and pins. Punch the documents evenly and place them in the folder. And what is the most important point? You should always remember that one customer on file is the rule. What is your major? My major is business administration. I am especially interested in marketing. Which university are you attending? I attended Suzhou University. Have you received any degrees? Yes, I received my bachelor degree in business administration. What course did you like best? Project management. I was very interested in this course when I was a student. And I think it's very useful for my present work. Do you feel that you have received a good general training? Yes. I have studied in an English training program and a computer training program since I graduated from university. I am currently studying finance at a training school. English and computer skills are comparatively important to this post, especially in the starting period. Warfs your ability in these two fields? I passed college English test band 4, with good skill in listening. Speaking, reading, and writing. I haven't got any certificate of computer skills, because I don't think certificates are necessary if what's needed is merely operating a computer. I think, to know how to use a computer is more important. And I'm quite familiar with Microsoft Office. Did you hear something? Oh. It is my cell phone ringing. I set it in the vibration mode. It is a good habit to set your cell phone to vibrate. It is very annoying to hear the loud and sudden ringtone in quiet offices. You are right. Some ringtone is just terribly loud. You can hear it even in the next door. It is really a kind of distraction. Maybe we can write a report to the boss to see what can be done. Good idea. Hello, is Bob there, please? Hold on a second, please. I'm sorry. He has gone out. Oh, this is Paul. When will he be back? He will be back at about 7 o'clock. Can I leave a message, please? Yes, certainly. Please tell him I'll call him at the office tomorrow afternoon. All right, I'll tell him when he comes back. Thank you very much. Lily, I am terribly sorry about this. But we have to put off or cancel tomorrow's meeting. Cancelled? That's just can't happen. Sorry to say, but nothing can be done. The equipment broke down and can't be fixed till Friday. Oh, I hope it be fixed on Friday. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy-to-follow, free, educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.